Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we are playing the second episode of Unicorn Overlord. As you can see we've finished the kind of tutorial battle there and at this point we get to choose a difficulty. I do believe that we are going to be going with Expert here. Um, we'll see if I live to regret that, but here we go. It says that it can be changed at any time from the options menu, so uh, if we really, really, really find ourselves struggling, then we could go back. And I only say that because this is an unfamiliar system for me. Um, I do have a lot of experience in a lot of strategy games, so I want to believe that I can do expert. But hey, I will I will be the first to admit it uh, if I suck at it when I start doing it. <laughs> so let's get into it. See how we go. We have a call to action. Elaine, why have you stopped? We're surrounded. Not the welcome party I was hoping for. Yeah, well, that didn't take long. Get your vile claws off of me! Let her go! Holy... I should have known you'd be behind this treachery, Renault. Okay, another guy who was with our mother's uh, entourage. So they are after her. What, what are they after her for? Why is she so important? There's got to be more to her. There's got to be. What is the meaning of this? Apologies for the icy reception, but we've business with the girl. Throw the ring at him. Dispel what the magic. What you have with Scarlet? Unhand her this instant. <laughs> no, I don't think that will be happening. I act under orders from Emperor Galerius himself. As for what he plans to do with her, that's not for one of my station to know. Yet I shall see it done all the same. Damn, is Chloe okay? She's on the ground. My work here is concluded. I leave the rest to you and your capable band. Albin, don't worry, boss. I'll earn my keep and plenty more. Oh, we'll see about that, friend. Oh, actually, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Straight into the hornet's nest, huh? You've got to do something, Elaine. Hear me, soldiers of Cornea. I ask that you stand aside for your returned prince. Sorry, kid. Can't do that. It's nothing personal. Just following orders from the guy paying the coin. Damn, we've no hope of overcoming such numbers. Oh, here we go. Your Highness! Oh, here's that Clive. With us, everyone. I beg you. Come, my prince. I'm ashamed to hear you met such misfortune before I arrived. Your Highness, this man is Clive, the knight we spoke of earlier. Of course he's a blonde cavalryman, just like Clive in, uh, in, uh, Echo Shadows of Valencia. A pleasure. Still, it rankles the mind. I never would have dreamt that Galerius was after Scarlet, and not you, my prince. Who was that knight who took her? His name is Renault, formerly a proud servant of Queen Elenia, not unlike myself. And just as I fell victim to Galerius and his foul magic, it would seem he has met with a similar fate. All the same, why Scarlet? Perhaps her role as a priestess has something to do with it. Lately I've heard tell of Zenoira's desire to spread its roots into the Orthodoxy. Making Gotta be one more with direct that. ties a prime target. In any case, the risk to her safety is clear should she fall into Galerius's hands. She's like some hidden princess or something. Princess in hiding. And sitting idly by only serves to stoke my worry further. Let us be off at once. Wouldn't do that if I was you. No chance you're helping the girl if you don't even know where you're going. Okay, he looks like a rogue character of some kind, Travis. And you are? Don't worry, he's a friend. A collaborator of mine by the name of Travis. Fancy way to refer to a spy. You need intel, dirt, or just the latest weather. I'm your man. And what of Renault? Road east, faster than a clap of thunder. I can only assume he's going for the city. But the real problem is his army of mercenaries. We won't have to Renault. We've got to go through them. 
Your Highness, we all share your sense of urgency, but we've no hope of aiding Scarlet without first routing the enemy before us. Right. We depart as soon as we are able. So that fortress over there serves as the enemy command post. Indeed, Your Highness, and the region will not know peace until we can claim it as our own. House Carl. House Carls are excellent attackers, who can lower an enemy's defense to deal heavy damage. As for us, this fortress here is our first and final line of defense. If the enemy overruns it, we'll have nowhere left to turn. Well, then we defend it at any cost, and proceed forth with extreme caution. Okay, so we are gonna need defenders. I'm guessing they're gonna continually be sending enemies for us. The Liberation's command post is captured. Victory condition, defeat Alban. Okay. Forgive the intrusion, your highness, but I believe our units will struggle without the proper changes to their formations. Okay, press triangle on the deployment screen to adjust a unit's formation. Before engaging the enemy mercenaries, press triangle to adjust a unit's formation. Okay. On this screen, you can add, swap, or remove members of a given unit. Perhaps we ought to explain the strengths of each class type first. What say you, your highness? Yes, I would be very grateful. Each character has a set class that determines their combat affinities, as well as what weapons and skills they're able to use. Okay. Listen to the explanation recommended. You bet. We, we chose expert. <laughs> you better tell me everything you know, bro. Such information would prove quite valuable, yes. Please go on. As you wish, my prince. To begin with, cavalry classes such as mine are quite effective when facing enemy infantry. As such, you may always call upon me to dispatch infantry in your path. Knights are highly effective against infantry-based units and can traverse stages swiftly due to their high mobility. Remember, your highness, that danger lies around every turn upon the field of battle. Yet the shield I bear is more than capable of defending our allies from harm. Boasting great shields, armor, and high physical defense, Hoplites are stout warriors that excel at protecting their allies. Just keep them away from mages. Okay, Hoplite. Defending's not the only way to survive, though. If you ask me, you're better off not getting hit in the first place. Okay, dodge tank. If you put me in the front row, our enemies won't even be able to touch us. Okay, interesting. Thieves. They have high evasion, allowing them to swiftly dodge enemy attacks in the front row. So you want them in the front row. Okay, cool. Generally speaking, you'll find it best to place your sturdiest fighters on the front row while reserving the back row for frailer combatants. Look upon the following formations as examples of how you may wish to deploy. Okay. Example unit Lord and Knight. The Lord in the front row will bear the brunt of enemy attacks while the Knight in the back row cuts down enemy infantry. Okay. So you're good at cutting down infantry, but you're not necessarily supposed to be a frontliner unless you have other things protecting you. Okay, Lord and Hoplite. The Lord and Hoplite will share the burden of enemy attacks, and the Lord will heal when he uses Lean Edge. Who uses Lean Edge? I'm guessing the Lord would. Okay, Lord and Thief. The thief in the front row will draw and evade enemy attacks while the lord in the back row can focus purely on offense. Thank you, everyone. I'll be certain to keep this in mind when planning our formations. Okay. So it looks like right now we can only have two units in each formation. Eventually that's got to go up because we've seen it happen in the opening. So Lex's unit might be... Fine. Um, reposition. So we'll do that. That has a healing thing with it. She has a healing thing in hers, right? So she can help heal him. And then I guess the two cavalry can... 
can go together. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put him behind? And then I'm assuming... Well, I actually don't know. If units get close enough to each other where they can swap, I wonder if they can also swap formations between each other. I would assume so. Okay, and then there's a leader in each group, which I'm not sure what that affects. But I'm sure it's something. Okay. The day will be ours. The time is at hand. Onward. So do I want to deploy two right off the bat? They will know what hit them. I'm up. On it. Your villainy ends here. You don't stand a chance. Come then. So who does the healing? They said that there was like a healing property with that, but that's what I was wondering about. I don't know if that was accurate. Maybe it's uh, like something that we learn later. On this screen, you can change a unit's formation, adjust members' equipment, and alter their tactics as you see fit. Okay, heavy cover. We have sting. Prioritize back row. Okay. So far, they seem to be just going after him anyway. Alright, we may want to rethink this then. Yeah, is it Noble Guard? No. Didn't it say, like, Lean Edge did a healing or something? Maybe I misread that. Um, how do I analyze Lean Edge to see what it is? No, not that. Edit. There we go. Attack a single enemy, recover 25% HP if the attack hits, recover 25% HP if the target is defeated. It's a self-heal. Got you, so it doesn't actually help the hoplite. Okay. Sure thing. Cancel movement, items, rest, wait and recover stamina. Okay, interesting. Good. Oh, shit. Oh, that's fine. All right, we'll make this attack, and you then we'll see if me. our buddy Lex can get a attack on the guy who's waiting. This one's mine. Come then. <laughs> so they are showing hit rates down at the bottom. I am your shield. So far, all I'm seeing is 100 percenters. We march on. Okay, also. Alright, just wanted to make sure there wasn't some pathway down here that I was gonna miss out on. Um, we can't do a deployment or anything. Right? Yeah, no valor points. Ready. You got it. The time is at hand. To me. Mm, damn it. You don't stand right. a chance. The wait took too long. Your villainy ends here. All right, we're gonna allow him to finish this then. Engaging in, in battle consumes one stamina, seen on the shields, to a unit's right. That's what it is. Units with zero stamina will be unable to move. A unit's starting stamina is determined by its leader. 
When possible, your highness, you should try to avoid using only a single unit in battles. Should their stamina be exhausted, they will have no choice but to rest where they stand until it recovers. Okay, select rest from a unit's action menu to command it to rest. The unit will then enter a waiting state and recover a set amount of stamina. Keep in mind a resting unit is defenseless against enemy attacks. If an enemy engages a resting unit in battle, that unit will be unable to use active skills or passive skills. Sure thing. Yes, sir. Was there a way to switch between people who are really close to each other? We march. Onward. Now the time is at hand. This one's mine. Oh, it's so close to getting the kill, too. I think there's one HP left there. That's okay, though. We'll be able to finish him. Looks like they've got their guys crawling all over the harbor. And judging by appearances, I suspect they have more units ready to join the battle at any moment. Yeah, okay. Enemy reinforcements. Facilities controlled by the enemy army will occasionally call reinforcements to the battle. Try attacking the enemy controlling the facility if you wish to stem the tide. This will force them to heal, stopping them from summoning reinforcements. You don't stand a chance. Are you okay? Score one for Lex. Take notes, Lex. Okay, another level up. Evasion, physical attack, and HP. No stopping now. I'm up. Um, you're not the strongest. Oh, we're not gonna make it in time. Ready. On it. Sure thing. You got it. To me. Shit. The weight was a bad call. Okay, is there a way to restart a fight? We have to we have to rethink everything. She hit the front and back line with her attack. Sorry, Elaine. I don't want to push it. Okay. Restart. Yeah, I don't like our setup. Maybe we can do that. Although he can probably be next to him. We have Travis, too. Physical attack is 17. Yours is 19. He's a dodge tank. 
69 evasion. And we can only bring out four at a time, huh? Maybe I should just have Joseph stand out then. Let's have him go out. Kind of making a slow unit, though, isn't it? Make leader. So maybe we try that. You can heal him. He won't be getting hit very hard, so he'll be nigh unkillable, I feel like. That's probably not entirely true, but... You guys can use healing items if needed. You can take some hits and you can do some self-healing if you're a frontliner. And then for our other one. So who's not in right now? I guess it'd be Travis. Does it even make sense to put him in a back line though? I don't know if it does. I don't know what happens when you put a fighter in the back line. I'm guessing that it's harder for them to be effective in some way, though. But we probably want him to be taking the hits first because of his evasion, I would assume. Don't know if that's actually true. Like I said, we're gonna have to learn some of this stuff. But if we go out with these two units first, um, maybe that'll be a good thing. Okay, let's try that. Take arms! Your orders, my liege. At once. The day will be ours. The time is at hand. What are the other options? Deploy. Oh, withdraw. Okay. So if I withdraw it, I don't think... Oh, it does give you a Valor back, so you could go and swap out. Cool. Onward. That's not what I wanted. Nope. Nope. Dude. Unit, please. Go to the... You know, it doesn't matter. We march. There we go. <laughs> Path is set. We got this. Good. Okay. A pitiful end of... Come then. You shall go no further. Okay, we'll do this first. Defensive strike, and then we'll let the back line finish it. How shall I proceed? There's got to be a way when you're this close. Okay, there we go. If you use the pad, you can... You can grab whoever you want. To me. Forward. I shall be your shield. Now which one's Your villainy first? Ends here. Okay, we did we did get to that guy first. Good. <laughs> yeah, I definitely want to figure this out on expert. This seems like a really cool system. Your orders, my leash. I shall be your shield. Come then. You're not. You wow, face me. Oh, you really can wreck these cavalry or these uh, ground units. Wow. Okay. Damn! 
Okay, Fine Clive. Job. Okay, Clive. This is this Fine is a setup right here. Jesus. Okay, there's our stamina. We'll be careful of our stamina. Okay. The time is at hand. The path is set. How shall I proceed? Received. Okay, he's gonna be slower. That's okay. Looks like they've got their guys crawling all over the harbor. Okay. Reinforcements. Let's see. Yep, we're gonna make it before they get reinforcements. Very good. Okay. Come then. Oh my god, you are wrecking. These two together right now are very good against these units. to look at what this assaulting lance is doing so we he gets to do it twice so he must have two AP well fought no it looks like he only has one AP so it must be um, let's see and then we push X to look attack a single enemy grants the user plus one AP if the target is defeated that's what's going on that's huge, okay. Quick guard, activates before being hit by a physical attack, block an enemy attack with a medium guard. Okay, so if he was in a front line, he'd be doing that. Okay, I think this will give us another valor so that we can get another person out here. Forward. Now then. Um, do we have to do something we march to take it I have claimed it as our own oh I wonder oh kind sir thank you for saving us did both units have to be on that to get it or did we have to just stand on it for a certain amount of time I hope this can prove useful in the battles ahead revival or very nice I shall be your shield Okay, you have lots of stamina right now. You go after this guy. At once. <laughs> now, what happens when you go to the... To me. Huh, the bridge there appears to be held by enemy spear bears. Not only are they capable of delivering piercing attacks to an entire column, but they deal heavy damage to cavalry as well. Okay. Um, I think we're making the right choice here. Although, they will be able to hit our... Our girl Chloe in the back line, it sounds like. I suggest you exercise the utmost caution in handling them, my prince. Some skills like the soldier's long thrust can pierce an enemy unit, damaging enemies in the front and back rows of a single column. Combatants arranged in a column are susceptible to piercing. As such, you should try to stagger them instead. Okay. Fine reminder, Clive. Let us consider well the enemy's strengths before marching into battle. Okay, so we can just move her, yeah? And maybe that'll help. How shall I proceed? Forward! We march. <clears throat> I'm a little bit nervous about pulling more when I have only three stamina. Should I rest now, or should I keep them moving? The path is set. That's hard to say. Um, we can deploy. No surprise there. Go on. There Move in a with second. Them. What now? You shall go no further. Okay. Once we see this, we can still go into organize and move people around. So that's nice. Okay, we have a net gain here, even though it's going to take a lot of turns to attack these guys. Which means a lot of stamina, right? It's nice that that's going to hit both. Oh, that's why it's going to take so damn long. <laughs> Okay. 
Your orders, my liege. Received. Let's take what's ours. Okay, so we definitely don't want cavalry going after. But let's see Won't what these long. guys can do. I'm not feeling so confident. Ooh, that's not great. You're not fit. This a pitiful end of Okay, never mind. We don't want that. <laughs> Although I don't really know how the evasion is gonna be shown. Good. So maybe I should try it just to see what happens. See if um the hit rates go significantly okay. down. I have you. Yeah. Yeah. They lie defeated. Yeah? There in a second. You, I shall be you your might shield. regret that. Forward. I'm not feeling so confident. Yeah, I don't see any percentages on this screen, so. You're not fit. This won't be fun. A pitiful end. I'm not feeling so confident. All right. Um, let's take a quick look here. Attack a single enemy, steal all of the enemy's uh, PP. Does not apply if the if they guard the first hit. I don't think these guys are guarding right now. Evade activates before being attacked. Evade a single hit. Okay, and we also want to stagger these guys, right? And then warding slash. Grants the user 20% physical defense. Arrow cover. Okay. Let's try that. Oh my god. It completely changed everything. <laughs> wow. Cool. Okay. So yeah. This is important. <laughs> Imagine that. Thanks. Oh. Does he have two passive points? That'll do for now. Okay. I'm assuming we might want to take this so that they can't get reinforcements, right? Let's take what's ours. Won't take long. You face me. Magic defense and HP. Victory grows ever closer. You shall go no further. Shall ever harm you. <laughs> Kids aren't half bad. Come on, boys. It's time we teach them what they're up against. There are more of them? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Alas, it is no joke. I suggest we stand our ground and await their advance rather than charge blindly forward. Facilities such as towns and bridges have a variety of garrison effects which are bestowed upon the unit garrison within. These effects can prove quite powerful, so try to garrison units and facilities whenever enemies approach. If you wish to review a facility's garrison effect, simply move the cursor over that facility. No stamina consumption, no wait time. You can now skip battles by pressing the start button. 
It's often better to watch battles play out, as skipping them prevents you from learning why a unit won. How shall I proceed? At once. Okay, you hit the garrison. These two will start clearing this. Um. And then maybe you and you can meet us down there so that we don't have to have our cavalry unit go up against those spears. Come then. This won't be. F you face me. HP and magic attack goes up. Well fought. Are you also able to swap if they were next to these guys in a garrison or no? The time is at hand. All right, how is your health, dude? It's not great. We march. Do I use this now or do I wait? Um, I'm assuming that these guys aren't statted up any more than the other ones, so I'm hoping that I don't need to heal and I can heal after. Onward. Go on. There in a second. A key strategic point. Hmm. These ruins may hold something of use. You can find items by garrisoning in ruins. Okay. Ooh. If we can't get them in one hit, he's going to be out of stamina. You're yeah. going to stick with him just in case, then. Sure. This the place? Come, then. Two stamina, first time only. No stamina consumption, no wait time, stage damage reduction, 50%, steady HP recovery, steady stamina recovery. Um, I guess we need that. Man, if only we'd had one extra one on him, that would probably would have just been better for us. I'm assuming that the wait time takes an extra long time. Won't take long. We march. The time is at hand. A pitiful end awaits. Okay, this is going to be slow. But since there's no stamina consumption, it shouldn't matter. let your guard down a do of strength okay you shall go no further healing they lie defeated okay once at least one of them goes down it should go a little faster yeah all right, do I need to go south at all? Probably not. I think I may just meet back up with you and go down this way to get Albin. Sure. A pitiful end awaits. Yeah, 
Yeah, these Don't two have got this. Me. Are you okay? Ugh. A thrilling battle. You shall go no further. I mean, the enemy has stamina too, so. I have you. Yeah. A victory for the liberation. This the place? Oh no 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 no! That's Your not what I want. My leash. Forward. Time for payback. You're not fit to be. Hope you've made your a pitiful end awaits. Yeah, that's still better. Okay. Three. Ooh, nice crit. Don't That'll help. Healing. They lie defeated. You're not fit. I'll make it quick. Okay, that one works better in this case. So let's go ahead and do that. Easy. See ya. We march. The path is set. Good. Time for payback. Just getting started. No hard feelings. Yeah, these pairings are working pretty well. I shall be your shield at once. No, that's not Let's quite take what I want. Ours. There in a second. Your orders, my leash. Forward. Go on. Won't take long. Yeah, move what with now? the slower guy. Yeah? I wish they would stick with them. I don't think they do. There in though. a second. This the place? You shall go no further. Hope you you're not I'll make it quick. A pitiful end of um, Hope see. you made your Time for payback. You have more stamina. Hey! You Easy. Go on. Sure. How shall I proceed? At once. I'll make it quick. Okay, we can go ahead and skip that. I didn't have a choice. Do we call that good? I think we call that good. Hand. Get moving. Onward. I shall be your shield. Received. Yeah? There in a second. Go on. Okay, I don't know how well you can take these guys, honestly. I think I want my tanky guy to do it first. Won't take long. What now? Let's take what's um, ours. He's gonna get reinforcements. Not much I can do about that. Yeah? Sure. Atherazau, the leader of the mercenaries, don't let your guard down for even a second. Enemy strength, the stars displayed beneath an enemy stamina, represents the relative strength of their unit. Three stars, okay. An enemy unit can have one to three stars depending on their strength. The enemy with a three star rating is the commander for a given battle stage. Press start to open the stage menu where you can review unit formation, save your progress, and more. Okay, so you can save in the middle of fights. Consider saving before critical moments, such as engaging enemy commanders in battle. You can do that? Sick. <laughs> Time for payback. Oh, 
Just getting started. How shall I proceed? Forward! Go on. Hope you've made your... You shall go no further. I'll make... You're not... Fi Time for payback. Okay, the stamina's not in a great place right now, which has me the most worried. That'll do for now. See, Chloe? I can do stuff. See ya. Your orders, my liege. Received. Okay, you go first. Time is with us. Should we only keep our... We march. To me. The enemy is quite deft. Ooh. I'm not feeling... Lux. I'll try. You're gonna be a better unit for this, then. Um... They are... And you I'm only have two stamina. So confident. Okay, the what was the item? Quite deft. Um, would that help us? A mysterious droplet brimming with power increases the target's physical attack by one. Up to five uses? Okay. Um... Uh, I don't know if that would make a huge difference here. Lux We're doing zero damage. Us. I think it's just the setup. I'll try. They are akin to a well-honed blade. Would that change anything? Luck stands against not us. Not really. I'm not feeling so confident. I'll try. We're not doing any damage? You can't back out of this, so I guess we'll do this one since it's a lot less. Well, look who finally came knocking. Oh. Nice try. Saw that. Get down, nope. boy. He's even stronger than he looks. Can we truly defeat such a powerful opponent? We can indeed. Our morale alone should be more than enough to see us through. You can now use Valor Skills during a battle stage. Use them by selecting the Valor Skills option from a unit's action menu. Different classes have access to different Valor Skills, each of which consume Valor points when used. For example, Elaine's Valorous Order skill grants first strike to allied units in range, which will prove useful when fighting enemy commanders. So we're supposed to use his. What else do we have? So, Valorous Order. Increase damage dealt by 20%. Reduce damage taken by 20%. Grant first strike to all ally units within range. Oh, I see. Okay, he's got to get up there first, then. And then Royal Order. Increase experience earned by an allied unit by 100%. Duration, one battle. That's interesting. So, you want that early. Wild Rush, damage all enemy units within the designated range. Ooh, that's cool. 1.5 damage multiplier, if target leader is infantry. No, 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 I didn't want him to continue. They Fuck. Are akin to a well Fuck. Blade. I'm not feeling so confident. <laughs> I didn't want him to continue moving. I didn't realize he was still attacking. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, no shit. Can't even grab my dagger. I shall be your shield. Yeah, you stop moving, At bro. At once. I am here. The time is at hand. Duration, the entire battle, huh? Excellent. Trent flows through me. I shall prove my worth. All right, those guys are gonna shred my cavalry unit, which is why I'm worried about having him attack at all, but. Received. Let's see what we can do now that we have this. Luck stands up. This won't be fun. I fear the enemy is I'll try. Tis a deficient plan. Dude. 
Dude. 45. Luck okay. stands against us. I'm not. I fear for our safety. This defeat. Luck stands against us. That's I'm weird. Not. I wonder why it changes. Plan. The enemy is. Halt. I fear for our safety. They are akin. This won't be. Defeat will soon be upon us. The enemy is quite deft. That will help. They are akin to a well-honed blade. I'm not feeling so confident. I fear for our safety. Luck stands against us. I'll try. They don't have any stamina. Is it still going to allow them to actually attack? This won't be fun. With no stamina? Hey! <gasps> hmm. So if you can swap them in with zero stamina, they can still be a part of the fight. You'll be okay. It's interesting. I can't stay on my feet. Um. Feet will soon be upon us. I fear for our safety. Apologies, but I fear we lack the time for pleasant <laughs> figures. Let's get it over with then. Okay, that's going to help all of our future shit. Oh, I did not realize. Okay, we used a bunch of items. It's okay, though. It's okay. It has to happen. And route to enemy unit. The enemy is quite deft. Hope you've made your peace. Defeat will soon be upon us. They are a... I'll make it quick. I fear for our safety. So wait, one battle really meant one battle. Um, I don't know if I can beat him now then. Maybe I need to reload and I need another Valor point. So that I can use that twice? Ah, uh, this is a mess, dude. Luck stands against a time for- Tis a defense. Six damage? A well -honed I'll make it quick. War of attrition. I'll be back. Nice boy. try. Easy. Okay, okay. Good, good. A little bit of tricorn pride for you. Can't even grab my dagger. Onward. Okay. We just I need to kill that safety. second guy Time somehow. For payback. And these guys are the best ones to do it, I feel the like. The enemy is quite deft. Yes! Okay. Now we're cooking. I have you. You can certainly do some damage. a deficient plan. Luck. I'll make it quick. Def they are a kid. Time for payback. Wait, 
Wait, does he keep getting his ads back? He does. In a weakened state, but he keeps getting them back. We're like not doing anything to him. If that keeps happening, uh, uh, how do we deal with that? <laughs> To me, let's take what's ours. Your villainy ends here. Okay, the enemy. I'll make it quick. You face me. Get his ass back that time. I wonder if that's the healing thing that did that. Go on. Oh, let's take what's ours. You know what? I'm gonna leave you like that because we're able to swap you in when we need you. So come then. Hope you've made your. You shall go no further. Your villainy ends here. I think our boy Elaine will go down if we Time do that, so payback. maybe we ought to do this. Thanks. Okay. Just getting started. Okay. Just leave it to Lex. Expert's gonna make us work for it. I'm okay with impressed? it. HP and evasion. I mean, I guess H. <laughs> Evasion's a good one for you, I suppose. I can't even grab my dagger. A vitality talisman. Stage clear. What a fight. Yeah, this is gonna be a challenging game. So the better you do in the fight, the more of all of these rewards you're going to get, it seems like. Did it give us like a S ranking, A ranking, B ranking? Is that the sort of thing? So renowned rank E. 100%. I don't know what that means. Does that mean we did bad or that we got as good of a renowned ranking as we could? It says 100%, whatever that means. <laughs> Yeah, no idea. Don't really have anything to compare it to, so. Alone, are you? What happened to your friends? Long gone by now. But with all the time about them? Never could have done it without you lot chase me halfway to hell and back, though. The fort's empty, your majesty. Not a soul in sight. Guy laid out the bait, and we just had to take a nipple. Strange. Few leaders would play the sacrificial lamb in such a predicament. <laughs> Don't flatter yourselves. I would have shook you off like weak old mud if I hadn't hurt my leg in our little scuffle. But hey, that's just part of the job. You're gambling with your life the second you take that coin. Then you know how this ends. Stay your blade, Lex. There's something I need to ask him. What does Galerius want with Scarlet? I'll take any scraps of information you may have, please. You do realize I'm just hired steel, yeah? They keep my pockets nice and heavy, and that's as far as my curiosity goes. So, sorry, but I'm not a questions kind of guy. At least not past my bottom line. Well, what do we do with him? Let's say I offered to fill those pockets instead. What then? <laughs> First, I'd ask if you still had all your marbles, but I'm not the discriminating type. As long as the pay's right. If this is supposed to be a joke, I'm not laughing. We're trying to beat the enemy, not hire them. It's not every day you come across a man willing to greet the heavens in order to see his allies safe. Now, our aim is to liberate these lands from the oppressive clutches of Zenoira and its emperor. I'd ask your aid in that battle. You know... I had heard you were nothing more than the crumbs of some spineless resistance that got chewed up and spat back out. Never would have guessed you're really just a pack of reckless lunatics. That's us. This so-called lunatic is none other than Prince Elaine. 
true-born heir to the Cornian throne. And our war is a righteous one. <laughs> You're trotting around the crown brat of a dead and gone kingdom trying to flip a whole damn empire? Sorry, kids, but I don't like them odds. Doesn't sound like he's interested. Even if he walks away now, I wonder if he's gonna come back later. <laughs> Hope you know I don't come cheap. Does that mean you'll join us? Eh? Granted, you're willing to foot the bill. King Megan's not an everyday job for a merc. But you've seen enough to know I'm worth the gold more. He was very so good. So we got a deal? We'll even cut you a little discount. Now that we've settled matters here, we move to rescue Scarlet. Time grows short. Indeed. It's more than evident Galerius had some grand purpose in kidnapping her. Delivering her from his bloodied talons may strike a heavy blow to the heart of his aims. It's too bad that, uh, Hodrick doesn't have any memories from when he was being mind-controlled. That'd be really helpful. Perhaps, <laughs> but this is far sooner than we had planned. Our allies remain scattered through every realm of Fevrith. Casting the gauntlet at Renault's feet would only send us all to an early grave. If I may add, there are those among Galerius' adherents who willfully chose to betray the Queen those long years ago. I fear we have no hope of avoiding conflict with such base traitors. I mean, when you are mind-controlled, we can't really assume anybody is a traitor by choice, necessarily. Some of them probably are, but some of them might also be under mind control, so we gotta be careful. It would seem we'll need to bolster our ranks then. Your Highness, upon ushering you to Palavia, I labored tirelessly to build a foundation upon which the Liberation Army can take hold. I have seen great suffering in our lands, tis true, and yet greater resentment harbored by the oppressed and the downtrodden. I have every faith such fierce emotion will spur them to join our cause. My prince, fly your crest cross the banner of the liberation. Spearhead the rebellion against Zenoira, and you will surely find kindred spirits ready to take arms in your name. Then I will do just that. I only ask that you be the crutch I may lean on when the perils of war grow too great to bear alone. Okay. Choose a heraldic achievement to represent Elaine. This can be edited later from the heraldry menu. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. And it looks like there's going to be more stuff unlocked later or maybe unlocked when the full game comes out. So when the full game is out, we're going to have to look at this again. Okay, let's go with that. like that one. How do we get to the colors down there? Maybe I can't right now? Oh, change color with triangle. Coat of arms? Oh, inside, gotcha, okay. And we can just choose a color. Yep. 
Yeah, I want something a little closer to gold, but not super bright yellow. So somewhere in there. It's going to make it more green. Right there. Let's go there. Let's make it just a little bit less full black and a little bit into the gray. Okay, I guess we'll do that for now. Bunch of save slots for different heraldry. So cool. Okay. All right. We're going to call that episode two. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. I'm having a good time so far. This, this is very promising. <laughs> this is very promising. All right. Anyways, have a good one, everybody. See you in the next one. Bye. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlado101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot27, Pato Kuto, Shadow Raven, Anna Kate the Great, The Blue Electric Cat, Emily Kuzanoa, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.